Hi, I'm Olivia. Um, I work as a junior consultant for Resource Futures and I work within the evidence team. Hi, Joseph Agnew, uh, currently a process technologist working uh, for a company called Nurion in Sweden. Hi, I'm Kit Wing. I'm a lecturer at Selman University, Malaysia. Resource Futures is a sustainable waste consultancy and I work to collect raw data to understand what rubbish people put in which bins, when and why to try and make recycling as easy as possible um, and as good as it can be. As a process technologist, I'm part of the technology team uh, within Intermediates and Intermediates covers uh, a number of products that the company makes. Um, so that's ethylene amines, ethylene oxide um, and ethanol amines. I do lectures in the subject of chemical engineering drawing, material science, as well as chemistry and materials. My greatest achievement so far, in my opinion, is the, the research that I've developed. So I've come across uh, new systems which I can help to cultivate microalgae in a more higher efficient manner. And I also developed this noble multi-phase partitioning technique, which has been proven to be able to extract not only one product, but multiple products in one single processing system. My greatest achievement is having created my own ingredient for Lush, the previous company I worked for. Um, so to do that, I was working in a lab and I liaised with lots of different people to make it happen and become a reality. And now that ingredient is in a product that's being sold around the world. So my greatest achievement in my career so far um, was being shortlisted uh, as a finalist um, for Engineering Graduate of the Year as part of the Equal Engineers uh, Graduate of the Year Talent Awards in 2020. I'm also very proud to be acknowledged by organisations like iChemy for my research achievements. The reasons why I applied uh, for my current role uh, were for start experience, uh, international exposure and personal development. The reason why I think these are important um, is because working internationally you get to work with people from different cultures, different backgrounds um, and adapt to different ways of working. Gaining site experience uh, enhances your competence as an engineer, getting to see things in real life that you design, getting a feel for uh, what their size are compared to rather just seeing it on paper. Um, and thirdly, personal development, you need to push yourself uh, to take on more leadership responsibility roles in the future um, and this was part of that. All I knew that I wanted to do when I graduated was do something good that made a difference for the planet. So that's why I chose my first role at Lush. It didn't necessarily have chemical engineering in the title. Um, I, my role was a creative and ethical buyer. But when I read the job description, I was like, that's what a chemical engineer does and I can use my skills to make that better. After I graduated from my master's in engineering, I was actually considering to do an industrial job. But uh, one of my lecturers, who eventually became my supervisor, he motivated me and also inspired me to take on a research role as a research assistant. And after three years, I I built my passion in research. One of the most challenging things about my career so far has definitely been the fact that you've got so much choice and knowing what the right decision is at the right time is really difficult. But that's not to say that that challenge can't be overcome. Um, I think if you truly listen to yourself and think about what's best for you, you do know the right answers. The thing that I've found most challenging in my career so far um, is adapting um, to ways of working. So at university, all the information that you need to complete calculations, to complete uh, tasks are provided to you, whether it's in an exam paper from the lecturer, but in industry, in real life, that data is spread in lots of different places. You need to know where to go and look. You need to know what data is appropriate to use um, and you need to know when the data you're using looks right. Think about what you actually want as opposed to just what everyone's doing. So I ended up stepping away from graduate roles and looking for companies that really resonated with me. What the industry or jobs out there are looking for is not exactly focused on just grades. So people are actually more aware of the need for soft skills in graduate, fresh graduates especially, like 
especially for their creativity skills, their presentations, their social skills, and also, most critically, their problem-solving skills. Be open-minded, don't limit your opportunities. In the first couple of years of your career, you know very little, and I think any experience is good experience, whether it's technical or whether it's just your soft skill development being in the workplace. It's important to understand that the topic you choose must be something that you're really interested in, something that will give you a motivation to continue and to complete them. Writing applications can be really difficult, so one of my pieces of advice would be practice makes perfect, so just keep doing it and you'll get better. Have some key paragraphs written that you really love um, and you can keep using in other applications. That always makes a blank piece of paper a little bit less scary. I have been a member of iChemE since I was a student, so maybe second or third year. Um, it's important because it's made me feel part of a community. Um, the Chemical Engineering magazine has opened my eyes to a much broader range of stuff that's out there. Um, even the best degree can't show you everything about what a chemical engineer can be and do. Chemical engineering matters because we are problem solvers at heart. We've got the technical skills to think critically, um, to solve problems. We also have the soft skills that allow us to be leaders and team players in order to solve some of the world's global challenges today. I think a diversity of people as chemical engineers is really important because we're responsible for designing the future and building systems that make a future that's better and that future has got to be better for everyone and work for loads of different types of people so all of those voices have got to be part of building and shaping that. Chemical engineering is not about chemistry, it's about the process and it's also about solving the problems that we have in our daily life in order to make our life a bit more simpler, a bit more easier, as well as to reduce the pain or the stress of things that would otherwise irritate us. So chemical engineering is everywhere.